We are in uh, Errol, New Hampshire at L.O. Cody's, which is a um, basically general store. And they've got groceries in the middle, head nets, hardware on the far end, ATV goggles, fuel uh, out front, compound bows up there, life jackets. This is a must stop on the way through here for sure. Rich needs a towel. He's been taking showers, but he's been drying with his shirts. Yeah. And they're starting to stink. I bought a lot of random stuff and had it all in one cart before, but I think that one takes the cake. Ham, cheese, bread, nine millimeter ammo. Because <laughs> it was a good price. It's silly not to pick it up when you see it that way. A dry blanket and a bug net. I mean, I, I feel like that's pretty solid. I think the bug nets are becoming pretty handy. Oh yeah, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully it ain't gonna be too bad. But I'd rather, you know, have it and not need it than not have it. Oh, it yeah. suck. Yeah, it yeah. suck. Looks kind of iffy, but how do you think that's gonna settle? Where's it? Not very well. We'll be digging holes <laughs> later on today. That's for sure. Well, the steering wheel says I'm turning, but I'm not. It's a little confusing. But aside from that, it's pretty badass. We're about a mile into the dirt and we are now in logging territory. These, these roads exist purely because the logging trucks use them. One thing that we're of course doing as we've been doing all, all along is, is making sure that we're, um, there's a 35 mile an hour speed limit here. Uh -huh. uh, this is not rally roads. It is a Saturday today, so it may be a little bit on the light side but there we will absolutely come across some stuff anyway. Yeah, it's probably a good day to be here. Out yeah, it is. It. A good, it is. Um, so a lot to be mindful of, but also a lot to be, uh, to be excited about. We need, all need to get on the same page as well um, about what we're actually doing out here. I thought we were filming uh, John uh, as a Scandinavian rap artist. So that's what I've been telling people. Um, Gabby what? informed me at the store that that's not what we're doing. So, Scandinavian rap artist. Yeah, I've been, I thought we were filming a documentary about your rap history in Scandinavia. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's so good. I rap a good. I rap a good. About 30 miles into the Parmacini slash Timpon road system, logging road system. Very dusty today. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting a little bit of dampness on the road here. I'll of course make a mess of the trucks in a different way, but um, it, it, this, this dust is really difficult to navigate through. So we just hold back. Whoever's in the front sets the sets the pace. Nobody wants to uh, nobody wants to have somebody tailgating them to get out of the way. Uh, it's just not it's it's not how it rolls up here in the woods. Oncoming traffic to the left. Uh, if you prefer to not be spaced out by um, by a quarter mile or a half mile, um, it absolutely is necessary so you don't just plow into the back of whomever's in front of you. Hey guys, be uh, be careful in this area, watching out for rocks that are sticking up. This is freshly graded, which is exactly when all that shale I was talking about earlier comes to the surface. Easily avoid it if, you, if you're watching for it, but it can, it can get you if you aren't. It's kind of how these roads work. It's kind of tall ships passing in the night kind of thing, where everybody just kind of keeps themselves, but friendly wave and give them space as they pass. It's been a lot of fun here following Boomer. You know, on these gravel roads. I mean, how'd you come? How'd you come across that thing? Well, it's funny. We were uh, we actually owned another van, uh, affectionately called the White Whale, and I had bought all the stuff to convert it to four wheel drive for a big trip that my wife and I were going to take. I was driving along the road one day, and all of a sudden, Boomer was sitting there in front of a gas station with a big for sale sign on it. And I uh, pulled a Yui immediately, and. Uh, Went and checked it out and took it for a quick spin and made a deal right there on the spot. So what what's a little bit behind the what's a little bit behind the name Boomer? My wife just out of the blue said, How about Boomer? And uh, and I let it roll around a bit and, and it seemed like the right the, the right kind of name, just kind of lumbering and clumsy, but it seemed like maybe a faithful old dog. Welcome to Boomer the Camper Van. This is my crib. Many of you may know Boomer, the camper van from 
Expedition Portal. It was purchased by me as a uh, fully converted camper van, uh, Falcon conversion, uh, with Ford E350 Econoline, uh, built in 1986. And uh, from there, I turned it into what it is today. It is a uh, 4x4 camper with a big diesel engine. It's got winches in the front, winches in the back. It's got everything you need to be completely self-sustaining, on-road and off-road, for as long as you want. Right now, we are uh, traveling on some dirt, and uh, as you can see, it's handling it just fine. <laughs> Maybe better than me. <laughs> I've got a uh, fiberglass camper top that stays up all the time, unlike a sportsmobile top, which would come up. This one stays up all the time. I uh, run just under nine feet tall for driving down a dusty dirt road. It's perfect. I've got a two burner propane stove. There's a built-in propane tank uh, that feeds off of the back uh, bumper set. I've got pressure water feeding off of a 20 gallon fresh water tank. I've got a refrigerator that runs off of 12 volts and that runs constantly. It doesn't run just when boomers going down the road. I've got a range hood. I've got a toilet back here. I've got a roof vent here that I can strap a fan into so that we can uh, keep cool at night. Over here I've got opening windows uh, left and right and then right above you here this section can extend out so that uh, you can sleep two more people here. When all the lights are on inside, I'm only drawing around two amps of battery power. On the roof, I've got a roof rack. It's an aluminum unit. That's got four LED spots uh, that can do perimeter lighting for me at night. And, uh, and <laughs> <laughs> for obvious reasons, uh, we don't do this normally. <laughs> So, I'm looking at the maps and figuring out uh, what other options we have for tonight. Um, there's a lot of stuff around here. It's just a matter of figuring out what makes the most sense. So, so we've been on gravel for a long time. <laughs> You're losing it. You gotta come with us because we're gonna be making a bunch of turns. So. <laughs> I gotta go with them because we're gonna be making a bunch of turns. That's, that's what he just said. <laughs> She looked at me with bloodshot eyes and said, I don't think I've ever seen you cry, but it's way too late, cause I'm gone for good this time. Well, you might as well have killed me then, ripped out my lungs and took all my air. My pride was in your hands when you walked out. Now, I arrived here at camp and we have absolutely no mobile service so I'm using the inReach device to uh, send my very pregnant wife a message and let her know that we're here safe um, and that she can contact us through this if there's any problems and if she needs to get in touch with me and this is kind of cool because it actually sends a, a pin drop shows on a map exactly where we are so um, she can sleep a little better knowing exactly that you know exactly where we are up here in Maine so it's pretty cool. 
somewhere in Maine to be undisclosed. And uh, it's pretty picture perfect, actually. It kind of kind of looks like it came out of an LL Bean catalog. What we'll probably end up doing is wake up in the morning and having this beautiful, you know, sunrise over top of this lake right out of, you know, the tent. It's going to be pretty sweet. We are going to do some some grilling this evening. We're going to cut up some vegetables. We got some peppers. We got some mushrooms, we got some onion, we got some garlic. And then we're gonna put it in the grill basket, sprinkle some Italian dressing on there, and let the grill rip. After that, we're gonna do the same thing with the chicken. Today was everything I expected it would be. Uh, Spencer had worked out a good 170 miles of, of gravel roads and lots of dust and dirt. Um, put the trucks to the workout, you know, the Forerunner and its new setup, you know, handled really smooth. and. Tomorrow, arriving kind of early at Pittston Farm. So that's going to be a lot of fun. They're really looking forward to having us. They're totally into the overland movement of you know people using their trucks to get them to places um, you know that they haven't been before. So to be there and to hang out with them by a fire maybe and maybe have a couple beers something like that. It's going to be it's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, woke up this morning to message on the iPad from the InReach. We were out of service last night, so we were kind of relying on the satellite for service. Um, the wife uh, texted me from from home, and the well's not working, and I've got a 22-month-old little boy at home. Um, no water's not a good situation to be in. I've still got another week out here in the middle of nowhere, so um, I got the team motivated this morning. Um, within 15 minutes after getting the message, we were packed up, and now we're moving at a very high rate of speed down gravel roads to get to town or which we think there will be service in town if not service at least wi-fi so i can facetime or something like that hey hey how's it going good i cleaned out the closet of course the guy's name and number is written on that stupid well <laughs> on, on that blue thing yeah well that's it said clark it's clear water. Yeah, clear water. Larry Clark is his name. Yeah. What time again did you say that they'd probably be there? No, no, he said I texted him pictures of the actual correct thing and oh. he said he was on his way. So oh. he should probably be here, I don't know, 10, 15, 5 minutes, something like that. Okay, uh, maybe I should just hang out for. Um, can you just text me when he gets there and then we'll just kind of leave from there? Okay, I'll let you know. Yeah, just text me. All right, love you. Bye. Bye. All right, so we're in Maine right now, and there are bobcats out here, and we just saw one. Uh, this is a little bit dangerous. Probably shouldn't do this, but I'm gonna try to get a little closer and get you guys uh, a nice scene of this bobcat. So let me uh, get a little closer. Get behind this rock here. I'm gonna try not to scare him. Uh, flip this thing around here. Oh, there he is. Scare. You guys do a bit of fishing and then hunting and stuff we too. Did some fishing. Fishing. I'm not a hunter, but not I do a hunter, some fishing. Just fishing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. got, a, got a few uh, little rainbows yesterday. Just I mean, rookies. Yeah. This place is That's nice exactly. just to come in. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, it feels super right now. It feels very westerly right now. Like exactly. the temperature and the air and the humidity feels very good right now. Yeah. yeah. And, the, and there's no mosquitoes. Yeah. So I don't know. If, 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 if the wind well, flows, you'll find some mosquitoes. Take care, man. What's his name again? Jason. Jason. Ray. Nice to meet you, Ray. Hi, is this Jen? It is. Hey, this is Jason Speck with Mountain State Overland. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? We are good. We're actually in, uh, I think we're in Rockwood right now. Um, and uh, <laughs> we're getting close. We're, uh, we're expecting a like a, we're anticipating like a three o'clock potentially a three o'clock arrival. Well, we've had a, we've had an excellent time. We'll be sure to sit, share the stories with you, you know, when we get there. And we're looking forward to it. Fantastic. We'll see you this afternoon then. All right. Take care, Jim. Thanks, Jason. Bye bye. Bye bye. So we are on our way to Piston Farm and just wanted to make a call out to them real quick here this morning and let them know. Um, they will be there and uh, they sound excited to have us and we're excited to get there so let's hit the road. Yeah. 